Okay. So this is a uh, chapter 13, Newton's law of universal gravitation question. Let me um, program in some constants. They are giving me the constant, uh, the gravitational constant to, to use. So let me just uh, program it in so that I don't have to keep typing it in. 6.674 times 10 to the power of minus 11 in the basic SI unit. I'm just checking that to make sure I don't have to worry about units. Um, so Newton's law of universal gravitation gives us this expression for the magnitude of gravitational force. It's proportional to product of masses and inversely proportional to the distance squared. And to make the proportionality into equality, there's a constant here that both makes the units right and um, it makes the proportionality into equality. Um, so I think I just have to plug in the numbers. I'm given everything. I'm given the two masses. I'm given the distance between their centers are that. So, so yeah, so G times the product of two masses, 244 times 239. Divide by the distance 1.1 squared. And by the way, this is a um, so the question is hinting at it with the word estimate. Uh, this is not exact calculation unless the sumo wrestlers happen to be spherical, because <laughs> um, the distance between their centers it'll uh, it'll be exact if they happen to be spherical. But for any other shape of object or people, um, this uh, will be only an approximate estimate, which is fine. We are just looking for order of magnitude estimate. So, and power 10 to the power of minus six is already there, so I don't have to re-enter that. Yeah, good. Let me do the next question. I think it's a similar answer plugging in exercise. Yeah, astrology makes, yeah, much power of, and so on. Uh, the only known force of planet exert on Earth is gravitational. Use that, yeah, that's the same constant I've been using. And, and you know, I mean, I don't, I myself don't follow astrology. I, I think when I taught astronomy, um, the one concession I did give is, you know, if it's uh, like a form of popular psychology, sure, why not? <laughs> um, there's a value in, uh, I'm told that there's value in psychotherapy and all that. So <laughs> in terms of if there's any physics basis for astrology, um, there's no evidence that there is. So uh, we got the constant uh, gravitational force exerted on uh, some mass baby by, uh, so, okay, I shouldn't have scrolled it down. I'm still going to use the expression for Newton's law of universal gravitation. Um, I got two masses and the distance. Um, don't think he would be 20 centimeters away from the baby, um, at least not from his center of mass, but never mind. it's just an estimate. G times product of masses, 4.35 times 100, divided by the distance, 0 0.2 meters squared. I, and I'm making sure I'm doing everything in basic SI units so that I don't have to worry about units. Everything will just come out to be Newtons, 10 to the minus 7. I already have that here. So it's a 7.26 um, 7 times 10 to the minus 7 Newton or about 0 0.7 uh, micronewton. So now for sort of Jupiter on the baby, okay, we got the, oh, yeah, I think we have everything. G times mass of the baby, 4.35 kilogram times the mass of Jupiter. It's pretty large, astronomical, 1.9 times 10 to the power of 27 kilogram, basic SI unit. And it's at this uh, large astronomical distance away, divided by. 6.29 times 10 to the power of 11 uh, meter, basic SI unit away. Uh, in astronomical context, uh, watch out for when the distances might be kilometers. You need to convert that to meters if you're using do, doing all the calculation in basic SI units. So that, um, oh wow, it's actually uh, larger, huh? Okay, uh, yeah, 10 to the power of minus six. Yeah, yeah, so it's a 1.39. So Jupiter exerts about um, double the amount of force that the father is exerting. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know if I was expecting that. Uh, but, all right, <laughs> I, I don't know what that means. This is just a number plugging in exercise. Yeah. <laughs>